friends! So lately I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the YouTube community and how it is now versus how it was when it first started. It's been a fairly prominent topic amongst big YouTubers, amongst commenters, amongst even podcasters and people who aren't really associated with YouTube that much. And of course when everyone else is talking about it, that makes me think about it as well. Is YouTube different than it was when it first started? Of course it is! YouTube has been around for more than 10 years and if we're going to expect a website to not change in 10 years, we just don't know how the internet works. And of course it doesn't mean all the changes are negative, a lot of the changes have actually been positive and have helped support the community. But there are some people who have brought up a good point, like I think Markiplier is one of the main people who have said this that I've seen. YouTube makes it hard for new channels to actually get any headway in YouTube. Essentially, in order to get popular, you have to already be popular. Or you have to have some way to get a video viral, which is just kind of a luck of the draw thing. And that's okay, that's something that happens literally everywhere. If something is popular, more people know about it because there's more people to tell the person who knows about it. But the question then becomes, does this stifle content on YouTube? Now I'm not talking about myself with this because I know I'm not a brilliant YouTuber and I'm never going to be. I am not invested enough to be a brilliant YouTuber. But there are a lot of people who do work really hard and who are very talented who just don't get any recognition. So then the question then becomes an ethics question. Is it okay that they don't get any recognition in order to keep the popular people popular? Or should we be spreading out the actual like YouTube inherent wealth of popularity? Now as a small YouTuber, I am of course in favor of spreading out the wealth of YouTube popularity, but I'm also a pretty avid YouTuber and I know when I'm coming to YouTube, I go and I watch the same people that millions of others are watching. And they are people that have been around for years and have had practice and have collected a fan base and know what they're doing, or at the very least, they're people that this is their main full-time job and they can put out several videos a day just for content. And when I really think about it, part of the reason that I go to them is because I do like them, but part of the reason is is that it's easy. I know that they're going to be there and they're going to have consistent content. I do not know that if it's a new YouTube channel. When you start watching a new channel, you run the risk of having one video that's really amazing and then the next video be total and complete crap. I know I've had the same thing on my channel and that's just something that happens sometimes with smaller YouTubers. So is it okay or is it like YouTube ethical to just say, I don't want to deal with that, I want to go to the bigger YouTubers and just stick with the ones that I already know I like? Or should we all be trying to branch out our horizons and actually investigate other YouTubers? Personally, I don't know. I do think there is something that's a little inherently wrong about the popularity that comes with YouTube, mainly because for whatever reason, a lot of popular people seem to get into trouble. And yes, maybe that's a generalization. And it's not really a lot of people, it's just that when you're in the YouTube community, you hear a lot about the YouTubers who have gotten in trouble. But I at least do personally feel like there have been a lot, and I feel like if we spread out the YouTube wealth, that would help a little bit. But at the same time, if we spread out the YouTube wealth, would that just be causing a lot more problems for a lot more people? I don't know, it's a really difficult ethical hypothetical situation, and of course it's hypothetical because nothing I say is really going to change how YouTube is. You're still going to go to the most popular people because that's what humans are. We like what people like. But anyway, I feel like I've rambled too long about this, so what do you guys think? Is the fact that it's difficult to get popular on YouTube okay just because that's a commercialization thing? Or is that something that should ultimately be rectified so that there are maybe a few popular YouTubers still, but the popularity overall is more spread out? I'm going to have to think about that one myself. But if you have an idea, go ahead and leave me a comment and maybe that'll help me out. But for now, I'm going to go, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys!